All right, so this is a 2000 Ford Expedition, and as you can see, it's kind of tore apart. It's a big mess. Um, this truck is an ongoing thing. I guess what you'd call it is automotive survival. It's not. It's not a muscle car. It's not anything. It's going to be a daily driver. So. Um, We've done a, a bunch of stuff to this, a bunch of stuff. So if you have 97 to 2002 F-150 Expedition, kind of run the gamut on this one. Um, anyway, we'll do other, I'll do other videos and whatever. If anybody watches them or sees something, comment. You know, I, we've pretty much been through it on this. Um, but keep it short. This right now is rad support issue. So over here is what's left of rusty radiator support. So there's the lower uh, center section, corner. Uh, the other side was so bad, there's pieces of it all in this pile here. Um, so, yeah, not much there. This is a corner piece, which <coughs> we'll cir circle back to in a minute. We got this. Some people get a kick out of this stuff. They tell stories about this. One time I found crazy shit in a thing, but yeah, it's, I don't know, it's rubber. Like adhesive. Somebody had fun. And then, this is, this is, uh... So we bought this thing used, so it had a previous owner, and at some point someone tried to replace the center section with what could be called home done, I don't know, I don't know if it's been industry, it's semi straight with itself, but they didn't really connect it to the ends too well here, they didn't really fix the problem, they made themselves feel better I'm sure. But yeah, anyway, so that's out. So what do you do? Do you replace the whole rad support? The rad supports on these um, are a welding deal. It's not like the old trucks that on bolts. So you, you know, whole fender comes off. Grill front bumper like you're done. This plastic extra piece comes off. And then somewhere in back here, uh, you can see it wraps around here. But anyway, right around here is a seam where you weld it up. Where, where you, you would cut it out, drill out your spot welds, put it in, and however you want to do it. But, jeez and crow. Uh, so it's a lot of work either way. And this stuff here is really, it's thin. It's not, whatever. Some people are weird and they want to do it themselves I guess so what do you do you can do it that way or you can do this this is what I did uh, what we have I don't know if you can see here's our new rad support put in there so if you stand back you see look see it's nice and square to the bottom to get me a light here uh, let's see so then we move the light around and we see that look it's kind of okay and then over here, um, okay, circling back to what I said earlier, um, where that rod is there, hold the light still. We had this piece here on the circle back issue. So this went uh, here. This was the other side. Well, it didn't matter. This was welded in like this on the other side and connected down here similar to that. And it all rotted out and it's thin and it's just going to kind of happen again and whatever. So basically I put this in. This is just a piece of, um, it's actually a jack rod, but whatever. Squared it off, welded it in. And then Look here, she ties in, uh, 
da 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 bam. So all we did was we hammered it flat, and sometimes things work out. So here you can see we did, or I did, or whatever. Underneath here, um, light. Okay, notice this oval hole. As I come up, at some point you'll be able to see. Yeah, okay, it's dimpled, like a dimpled dyed deal. I'm just heated with the torch and whatever. Um, circle back to that in a minute. Um, the bolts for the the bushings, I cut the heads off and welded into this. It's made out of 1 8, so it's not that big a deal. Put the spacer in, welded the spacer to this, welded the spacer to the nut, and then welded the nut to this, and then welded a pass to tie everything in together. And that's covered in flux still, so. Yeah, whatever. And if you ever do this, or whatever, we didn't wreck the bushing because big wet rag. Wrapped it in that, kept it cool. Um, so if we look in here without getting crazy, this is just looking down from inside the hood. We see this corner here. tied in pretty nice straight um, there's that circle hole that's dimpled in same with the other side it fits sometimes things just kind of work out um, so here we have if you look the circle died dimple died circle back circle deal. This is the rubber grommet. This is for your rad. So your rad has just a, like my finger just goes in there. Like my middle finger, but I can't do that. I'm not that dexterous. So that space there, that's why we dampled it between the 1 8th material and then heating and smacking dimple in it. And we did that. And these are just some scrap in cuts of shit I had lying around, but basically you see the shape there. Then you see the shape here. See that little thing? It's square, but it has these things. Well, the slots are for those things. And this thing here sits in this thing that we made. Like that. And she's in. These slots. Go on both sides. Whatever. There's one on both sides, and it's for your AC cooler, so your AC cooler has a slot that fits like that, right? So that's that. But the gaps worked out pretty well. Everything came out nice. Um, welding on this was done with a stick welder and a torch, so you don't need any fancy tools. You can just do it. Uh, so how you get this to fit good um, the, over here it's kind of the answer right here we have let's yeah, we'll lay this out but this would be the answer here flip it around so it makes sense what we saw before so this is the answer this is Make it out of cardboard. I let my secret out, damn it. But that's it. But you need to have the time and the and the whatever to it's like building it twice. And it's whatever. So basically that way you have you can figure out your material, right? Your size, your whatever. If you need to put bends, how long are they? Blah 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 blah. Price your material. Anyway, it's more it eliminates stuff like if you had to make two of them or it eliminates screw up so you don't have wasted material I screw up a lot so I have to do this dumb shit but like here so you can figure out 
Look, see, and you just bake me make it out of cardboard. And you can add to it and section it, and it's all done out of cardboard. That way you work out all the kinks while it's still the cardboard's cheap. So that's that. I had one piece missing, but yeah, let's see. And you can figure out what you want to work with. If you want to use flat steel or what, but we figured out our cut. Like see. Look, I marked the bend. Okay. See, and these are normally unknowns. Let's see here, and this is out up here. And I was gonna try to make it like this and fold it up and get right fancy with it, but for what? Dumb. Anyway, so yeah, this is the answer, this is the key. Uh, we're gonna probably do a section on another video on just like welding. Um, I've seen a lot on, I'm not a good instructor, I'm not a good welder um, at all, but um, I, had, I didn't see a lot of videos on people just like attacking stuff with just like that, just like a gas welder, just a, if you buy a kit, the tip they give you. Um, I used rod um, that would have been thrown away, like MIG, MIG wire that would have been on the end of the roll thrown in the garbage. So I straightened it out into little welding, let's see, little schmelding rods. And we go. So what I did, this was all rusty and thin and this is one eighth this is really thick so I, I did a combination of some gas weld i did gas weld and then stick weld but i'll go i'll do another video on that circle back but that's the deal and it fits good i think it looks better um it'll drain water a lot better when i have no problems but here's the real deal I can't justify doing this, but take and run with it if you're doing something custom, four-wheel drive, or like, if you're working on these trucks, these engines set look, way underneath like the firewall. These aren't like a muscle car. There are wires and shit everywhere. So like working on it, big rig trucks are the cat's ass. So a tilt front end at this point, not too far away. You know what I'm saying? You could make a mount off of here. And then just depending on where you split your hood, you can work it out. You can have it split however you want. So the rod would stay and you could have your bump and up hinge bracket up to this. Make it nice, make it strong. Mount shocks, mount hydraulics, mount whatever you want to do. But then it's easy because you have nice square good metal to weld to and it's whatever. But anyway, if you see if you end up watch anybody ends up watching this, they have one of these trucks, they're going through this stuff. Um, contact me, whatever. Um, I have the template. Um, even old school technology, we can send it to. I can send it to you in the mail or whatever. But contact me, like, do a pro style one like that up instead of that, and problem solved. So, um, there'll be another video up, probably talking about welding and then more other stuff. We'll eventually do a walkthrough of the whole truck, um, like we've done, everything, ch chassis, everything. There's a like. It would be a huge joint video, carrier bearings, we went into front differential on this thing, it's out, it's coming in, so there's lots, lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff to cover, but anybody's watching, comment, whatever.